Greetings, science teachers. Uh, this is just a quick little introduction to the science uh, and math frameworks uh, tied to the Minnesota state standards. Uh, it's produced by SciMathMin in partnership with uh, Minnesota Department of Education. Uh, it's a very new website. Um, just came out this summer, and I think they're going to be adding things to it sort of continually, so you can keep checking back for uh, uh, updates. The the main Thing we're looking at here are these frameworks and uh, there are a variety of ways you can search the frameworks. You can search by code so if you have a specific standard you're interested in and you know the code you can uh, search for it. Uh, you can also just search by grade and broad area like I can search in middle school physical science. You can search by a particular keyword. Um, so I'm going to search middle school physical science. It'll pop up um, a bunch of standards uh, that fit that that bill. I'm just going to pick one. Uh, you'll notice that this is one standard. It's got a few different benchmarks underneath it. Um, when I click on this standard, uh, you get a variety of things. You get the benchmarks again, and you get an overview, uh, some things about the, the standard and benchmarks, some national science documents. You can find common misconceptions um, that students might have related to these concepts. You can find a short vignette um, related to this uh, material. I'm going to show you the resources tab here. Um, they've got some instructional suggestions. Oftentimes they have some graphic organizers which might be useful. Um, they've got a number of different lab ideas um, which you can check out. Some additional resources, some vocab, and uh, some technology connections. Uh, they have a number of links to the FET site out of the University of Colorado. Colorado. Um, which, if you have a smart board, might be especially nice uh, online simulations of various scientific concepts. Uh, coming back up to the top, you can see assessment. Uh, this one seems to vary quite a bit in the little bit I've looked. Um, sometimes they have quite a few good questions for students. In this case, they just have a couple questions. Um, they have some information for teachers and, and uh, administrators. Um, the questions for teachers might be useful in your PLC if you're working and focusing your work on a particular standard or benchmark. Uh, you might come here for some, some things your PLC could talk about. Um, also have some uh, information on differentiation. And again, this is going to vary a little bit based on the, the standard or benchmark or framework that you pick. But um, in general, you can perhaps find some good things for extending or for kids who are, are struggling. Um, so that's sort of what it looks like when you look at a particular benchmark um, or standard. They also have some more big picture ideas under resources. You can go to science best practices. And uh, uh, they have a few different things, and they're going to be adding more. Again, these ones down here, they haven't really filled out yet. But they do have some information on literacy and science, which I know is sort of a focus of our work this year. Um, so again, if you're working in your PLC, if you're working with your lit leader, some questions, some things to at least get you, get you started. So hopefully you'll find this to be a useful resource in your PLC or dyad as you're looking at a particular standard, uh, some good resources for lab activities, that sort of thing. Um, have fun exploring the site. If you find something good, please share it with your colleagues. Thank you.